Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. And the truck? Whoa, whoa! You see that girl right there? Looks like her husband's hit rock bottom. Believe it or not, we're about to dissect the worst commercial ever made. I got good news for you, kid. You're getting a new truck. What do you mean? This commercial was made in part of the 2011 MoFilm Tribeca Film Festival, in which filmmakers can make commercials for their favorite car brands. This commercial in particular made second place. God only knows what made first. If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're going to find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. The first mistake this commercial made was in the choosing of its brand, Chevrolet. Now, as the four-year owner of a Chevrolet myself, I cannot express how dumb I think it is to be sentimental for this brand of car, and really any American car brand in general. I think you need electric shock therapy if you're somehow attached to this brand. I'm sorry, you're just stupid. Since I've owned it, it's stalled on a freeway twice, thousands in repairs, cost me a job. It's actually, during the filming of Pokemon Go Bro 2, infamously stalled in the middle of a street intersection. But it worked out for the video, that was nice. To give a mechanic a blank check to fix one of these things, Monkey and the Machine Gun giving Kurt Cobain a shotgun, giving Michael Jackson painkillers, it's just self-destructive at that point. Yet many proud Chevy owners come to this video and comment with things like, I hardly know anybody that can watch this without getting their eyes getting watery. It has that touchy-feely moment you would expect in mo movies like The Notebook. More commercials must need to be made like this. I have no idea why Chevy took down the official version. Come back when a Prius can last as long as a Chevy truck. Plus, you have no this soul and no like heart. Considering it's a commercial, you should shut up. And I'm sorry for you, he's not gay or dumb. He's smart. Love this commercial, best ever. I have two boys. I bought my oldest his first 94 Chevy short bed. My, my boys will get my truck collection. I have four in total. It's amazing how a piece of metal can have part of the family. Let's see your Prius do that. What do you mean? I mean it's gonna cost more to fix than it's worth. Besides, the truck's older than you. This commercial fails at simple things. Emotion, dynamic camera angle, Depth of writing. To demonstrate this, we've recreated some of the key problematic scenes and improved upon them using basic filming techniques. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. And the truck? Okay, but the truck's told. This is Frodo Baggins, and this is Ghost Inventors. We have to investigate this haunted auto shop. <laughs> this is a hard job. Uh, you know how this break into? Paint. We're gonna do the show. We're gonna break into all these houses. <laughs> Good news is, you're getting a new truck. What do you mean? Truck, 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 truck. Nothing I can do. Isn't there something? Yeah. 
Welcome back to Crost Explorers. I'm here with my sound technician looking over that footage we just found. You're not gonna believe it, Frodo. This is even more insane. Yeah, I'm okay. And the truck. Oh my I'm god. Okay. And the truck. No, I'm no, okay. no. And no, no, I'm out of here. Hey, I'm hey, out of here. Hey, oh, no. Hey, no, you can't keep me here. Hey, hey. No. Hey, hey. no. Yeah, I'm okay. And the truck. Yeah, I'm okay. And the truck. Yeah, I'm okay. And the truck. And the truck. I've tried everything. It's just gonna be too expensive to fix. Go ahead and get your stuff. Guess I better take care of it. Now, I'm not a moron. I do understand why you put sentimentality into commercials and everything. It's a very good tactic for advertising, and it makes very dumb people feel sentimental for car brands or really anything you want to advertise um, just by pulling a family photo out of the car, whatever this is called. I No! Whenever anyone presses their face against the window, I mean, it freaks you out. Like, think of any homeless dude that's in the Whataburger parking lot that comes up to your window to put their face against it and then rap and say, Can I have five bucks, man? No! Get away from my window! Just fix it. Whatever, just, just fix it. What are you gonna do if I don't? I'm in the mobile action center here, looking over that footage that we just got with my with my sound tech, Candy Zaz. Man, you've got to listen to this. So. You remember this? How we heard it before? It sounded like this, right? Yeah, I'm okay. Now I went through and I analyzed it, and I enhanced the audio. I cut out a bunch of the bull. Listen to this. Fix truck. Oh my god. Oh! And what do we do if you don't? Yell. Welcome back to Spooky Spelunkers. We're doing a silent EVP, trying to pick up some paranormal activity. Did you hear that? What? Huh? Huh? Ah, Hit record! That either has to be something there, bro. Even though we weren't able to hear anything on the EVP recorder, after enhancing the audio, we discovered this disturbing question. Battle against clown, I kill your whole family. 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 Oh, 
Sir. Truck, and the 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 truck, and